welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. And if you're not new here, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This week, I basically wanted to do a bit of a weekly vlog. I feel like I have so much to unpack with you all. I just feel like there's a lot going on at the moment. I just felt like there was too much to unpack in one day. So I thought I'd just spread it over the week. I feel like I've not given you guys like a kind of a fitness progress or like half marathon update in a while so we'll definitely be doing that kind of talk about my future goals for fitness as well because i've not really discussed that and i'm sure you guys know from my content i've not been having the best time recently going through a breakup and kind of trying to work my way through that so i thought i would just share a bit of how i'm kind of doing that with you it really opened my eyes to how many other people kind of going through something similar when i shared it on social media this is definitely not a unique experience we are all either going through or will go through something similar in our lifetime like heartbreak is something that unfortunately all of us have to experience and I guess if I can use my situation for anything it's kind of to help other people get through their heartbreak so I just thought I'm definitely not an expert on it but I just thought I would share kind of some things that I'm doing to kind of get out of that headspace at the moment I am not gonna lie I have woken up feeling a little bit overwhelmed and like overthinky I don't know whether it's because I tried to film this YouTube video last week and I just really got in a bit of a bad headspace ended up having a bit of a cry and just kind of like wiping the whole thing and I don't know whether like I've got the fear of that happening again so I think what I'm gonna do is actually head off on my morning run first thing because I feel like my runs at the moment are really really settling me so we're gonna do that get the run out of the way it is a bit rainy but I honestly don't mind I just need to get outside and do a run and hopefully that'll just like settle my brain down a little bit before I sit down and talk to you guys because I just feel like I'm getting my words a little bit muddled at the moment it's so crazy how I'm not even 0.5 kilometers in and I already feel better it's just like my body just knows now that as soon as I have a run my brain's just gonna like settle just like instant endorphins anytime I run like I just feel like as soon as I hit that pavement everything just kind of like washes away and like the only thing that matters is me the run the music I want to listen to and anything that I kind of choose to think about in those moments it's almost like because I'm concentrating on the run like there's no ability to overthink like there's no way I can overthink in that moment because I'm concentrating so much on running that I only really have space for kind of like one train of thought in my mind I guess with like going through a breakup and stuff like the mornings feel like the hardest because you kind of wake up and remember things you go straight on your phone it's just kind of like oh god like another day but I'm just trying to basically infiltrate a really good like morning routine and do things like that in my mornings just to like help me settle and kind of set me up for like a better day but I'll talk a bit more about that after a shower because I'm feeling like a sweaty little mess right now. I'm definitely not a protein oats girly. In fact, I don't really know the last time I had protein oats. Probably a long time ago, but anybody that lives in the UK right now knows that it is basically winter. Like, I hate to say that and it sounds so negative, but like looking outside right now, it feels like it could be Halloween tomorrow and I wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Like, it is not nice. It's been so rainy and so dark, so I'm just kind of getting into like my wintry food vibe already. I think I'm gonna go as far as to say I feel like I'm a converted protein oats girly now. These are so nice. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, I wanted to eat those first and they were really, really tasty, but I definitely feel like they're all stuck in my teeth now. I guess like I, what I wanted to do was just sit down and have like a bit of a girly chat with you guys and not try and cry. I feel like, oh my goodness, every time I sit down at the moment, talk about feelings, I just cry. Because I guess like the last time I spoke to you guys was when I was in Rome and I left and I was in a really bad place and I'm definitely not gonna lie, like I'm still not in like the best place. And it's really hard because like I have really good days and then I have days like today where it's really hard. It just is like that. Like anyone who's going through a heartbreak or has experienced heartbreak will know that like it literally is like this. Like one day you will feel fine and I'll be like, I'm good. Like I'm doing the best thing for me. Like I'm really proud of myself. And then like the next day it's just like, you just miss that person. I mean, it just makes it really hard. But I was gonna sit down and talk to you guys about some of the things I'm doing that are helping. Probably doesn't look like anything I'm doing is helping. There are definitely things that I've kind of like recognized 
nice over the past few weeks that have really helped and like helped me have those good moments as much as like the bad moments are still going to be there there are definitely things that have helped and i'm not out the other side of it so there is no way i'm going to sit here and be like this is your roadmap to recovery this is how you're going to heal because i don't think number one there is a roadmap to recovery there are definitely things you can do to help but like every situation is so different i can't sit here and tell you how to like heal yourself especially when i'm definitely not healed myself post breakup there is what i would refer to as like this post breakup rut that rut is needed you need to sit and experience your emotions at the end of the day if you try to push on and you try to distract yourself from those emotions and you don't let yourself cry and you don't let yourself feel any sadness you're just delaying the inevitable like that will happen and it will hit you at some point you have to go through it you can't go over it you can't go under it you just have to go through it if you are currently post breakup and you are just sat in a bit of a rut and you just want to stay in bed and you want to watch movies and you don't really want to do anything and you want it all to take away do that like you really need to let yourself just experience that and i had that for about a week or so before i was kind of like right okay i feel like i've really processed like a lot here and i feel like i'm ready to start incorporating some things back into my routine and kind of trying to get back to myself but by no means feel like you need to come out the other side of your breakup asap and be this really like strong independent woman who's going to grow from the situation badass and get back into the gym because there is a lot of pressure on people to have this like post breakup glow up and that doesn't happen overnight and it definitely shouldn't happen instantaneously like that will come and you will get there and you will get to a point where you feel like right okay like i'm ready to start you know getting back to myself and i'm ready to start working on myself but that doesn't need to be done on day one so please like do not apply that pressure to yourself and do not feel the need to be doing any of these things asap just like i said sit and feel like everything that you need to feel so just on some of the things that have like actually really helped me one thing is please get this book my gorgeous friend Millie recommended me this book and you've probably seen it all over my instagram but i am genuinely obsessed with this i'm not going to say like too much about it i mean it's pretty obvious there's 101 essays in it that will change the way you think and trust me this book has been so helpful every morning i wake up and i like give it a little shake and i open it to a random chapter and i just read the essay and it has really changed my perspective already on a lot of things and it just has some really eye-opening quotes in it and if you're going through anything even if it's not like heartbreak if you've lost a job or you're just feeling a little bit down in the dumps or you're just feeling a bit lost in general please read this book i'm gonna link in the description box i'm not gonna say too much about it but like it is genuinely such an eye-opener something else that i really want to stress is that when you feel like you're kind of like ready to get back to it please start fueling your body properly i am the same when i go through any form of kind of like sadness or sad emotion like my appetite literally disappears i cannot tell you how much better i felt since i've started eating properly again like having that fuel and that energy inside of you really does help and i said this on tiktok but do not let a man be the reason you lose your muscles like if you are working your ass off in the gym and you're going through something don't let a man be the reason that you lose any of that progress i think as well like recognizing the points in the day that you find the most difficult helps me because you can start to implement things within that time that can help you so for me like the more mornings and the evenings like before bedtime are the worst like i don't know what it is about the morning i feel like you just wake up and you just like remember everything and it just really sucks something that really helps me in the morning is literally having my routine of getting up having a coffee reading a chapter of that book putting some music on not lying in bed and scrolling through instagram and scrolling through my phone because i've gotten a really bad habit of doing that but instead like getting straight up so you don't just lie there and sit and scroll because i got into a really bad habit of that and it just makes my brain feel like it turns to mush before the day's like even started so morning routine those are kind of like my tips bedtime does seem to be like the worst as well because i feel like you're just like alone with your thoughts like trying to go to sleep and intrusive thoughts pop up and things that you don't want to think about pop up things that i found that have really helped are the app headspace they do like sleep cast to be fair i think spotify do sleep cast but put any form of like sleep cast or podcast on something you can zone out and listen to the reason i love headspace is because they have breathing techniques in their one so it's kind of hard to not pay attention and give like your whole attention to it and once you're doing like breathing techniques it's kind of hard to like think about other things and i always just notice like i just pass out at some point <laughs> i use this neom perfecting pillow spray as well these really help me fall asleep but like into a deep sleep because i'm just struggling to like sleep through the night i don't know whether anyone else does this but i just wake up and like check my phone which is really annoying so having this is literally one of the best things because it knocks me out i know like boots do one as well i don't know whether this neon one might be like a little bit more expensive but i know that boots definitely do like a really good one as well there is definitely like a million more tips that i could probably 
share but like I said I'm so early on in the process I feel like I'm still really like finding my feet with even feeling better within myself so maybe in like a couple of months or whatever point I feel like I'm fully fully like healed from the situation if you ever do like fully heal from it then maybe I can sit down and share some more things that have really helped that's just kind of like a few of the little things that I'm doing at the moment but hopefully those have helped guys I've not actually got anything really going on for the rest of the day I've just got editing to do so I think I'm gonna sign today off here and actually rejoin you tomorrow on Tuesday so I will see you guys tomorrow good morning guys we are starting off our Tuesday morning doing something that I haven't done in a very long time I'm actually gonna take some progress pictures so I've got my little black underwear set here i'm gonna do progress pictures from like front side back gonna do some measurements i'll talk to you guys properly about my like kind of goals and stuff but i'm just gonna get these bashed out of the way first thing in the morning before i have anything to eat or drink because that's the best time to do any form of progress picture <laughs> So I've just got ready for the gym. I haven't even mentioned that today is actually a therapy trio Tuesday. So I kind of came up with this like two weeks ago and essentially I have my like in-person one-to-one Zoom therapy with like an actual therapist on a Tuesday. Prior to that, like I would go for a run. So that's like a free form of therapy. And then after therapy, it's always really nice to kind of like sit with your thoughts for a while, like not kind of like rush into anything else. So I normally take myself for a coffee. So today we're actually going to the gym, which is the free form of therapy. Then we've got paid therapy then we're gonna go and grab ourselves like a nice little coffee it's just a really nice kind of little bubble of time like just to myself on a tuesday and it just really helps me like work through like a lot of emotions and a lot of things going on at the moment this gym set is one of the new honor active ones it is so so cute and it's gym obsessed with the color yeah i feel like i've also woken up like feeling a lot brighter today than i did yesterday definitely like not feeling like i'm overthinking i guess i think i know on tuesdays like i'm gonna have the space to kind of work through everything i'm in like a good little bubble right now but yeah i'm gonna do coffee banana then we'll head to the gym <laughs> There is literally nothing better than a gym session that actually leaves you like beaming. Like I just feel like really positive and excited about my training at the moment. And I haven't felt like that in so long. Like always liked the gym. For me, like running is like up there. The gym is kind of like, I enjoy it. I like it. But like at the moment, I'm just like, I feel like it's, it's really clicking and like running and the gym is clicking and they never click at the same time. But yeah, really good gym session. Gonna head back, get some oats in me, get my new favorite oats in me. And then we have got therapy session number two of the day. And the therapy trio is completed. I actually can't tell you how like valuable I found it going to get a coffee or going for a walk after a therapy session. I used to have them and like get on with my day, but I feel like after you kind of express that much emotion and kind of talk about that many like heavy things on your mind, like you need kind of like time afterwards to really like digest and kind of take it in. But I did want to obviously give you guys like a big fitness update because that is obviously how my page even started. It started with fitness and food and I feel like I've kind of had like a few realizations within my fitness journey definitely over like the past kind of week and I've like realigned myself with like new goals and I just love like sharing them with you guys. First thing I want to say is trigger warning I'm going to be talking about calories I'm going to be talking about restrictive eating and kind of like my relationship with food so if you find any of those things triggering please fast forward through this portion of the video. I basically have kind of like noticed within myself over the course of the past few months just where I haven't been really like myself and I have been super stressed have actually lost a fair amount of weight 
weight that I never wanted to lose and I have actually noticed a slight change in my relationship with food. I've just kind of noticed that, obviously I switched to intuitive eating earlier in the year and I stand by that decision. I think it was a really good decision. I've been tracking for a really long time and I feel like everybody should have a break from tracking at some point. It's not healthy to track consistently for four or five years. So I had a big break with that. I do somewhat realize that over the past month where I've not been in the best place, my relationship with food has slightly suffered. And I do actually feel like I've been using intuitive eating more as an excuse to under eat and I've not been fueling my body properly. I have very like strong views on how we should fuel our body and how our bodies need fuel. And I wanna run a half marathon and I wanna go on all these runs in the week and I wanna go to the gym and you you need to fuel your body in order to do that. And if one of you came to me and were like, I'm not eating enough, but I'm still doing three runs a week or two gym sessions, I would be like, that's not good enough. Like your body needs fuel. And I kind of need to give myself that talk. I did actually decide that I am actually gonna go back to tracking because I have to be hitting my calories and I have to be hitting my protein intake. And there's no point in me trying to intuitively eat if I'm aware that that is making me under eat. So I'm actually gonna go back to tracking in order to use it as a tool to help me hit my calorie total and hit my protein total i feel like that's what's going to benefit me at the moment so it's the best thing for me so that is a bit of a change kind of within my fitness journey and then goal wise my goal is to put back on the weight that i have lost so with me this isn't going to be like a drastic weight gain journey i've lost about four kilograms that i want to gain back but i want to gain them back in the right way like i want to gain back muscle like i want to go on a little journey to build some muscle i'm never going to be one of these girls who severely bulks that just isn't really me i don't think i would feel comfortable i think with my like kind of food history i worry that that would damage my relationship with food more if i was like forcing myself to eat and forcing myself to gain a really high amount of weight so for me i'm going to be in a surplus but it's going to be an uncomfortable surplus alongside my running my weight training and a pt session every single week because i really 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 want to see some muscle growth i have actually seen a lot of a change in my body this year due to kind of the combination of running and weight training and i've seen a lot of muscle gain and especially on my legs when I took my photos this morning I was like they're looking muscular so I'm really happy with how I look I just want to build within kind of what I've got at the moment if that makes sense so yeah I'm going to be hitting 2,000 calories 160 grams of protein every day at the moment that will increase I just need to kind of be at a 2,000 level which is around maintenance for now just to kind of eating a higher amount of food using my fitness power getting myself into the flow of training before I really start to kind of like um, put the calories up try and see some growth because I think I was eating around 2,300 calories at the beginning of the year alongside marathon training and that is when I felt my fucking best like I felt good I felt strong I felt really confident in my body and I just want to get back to that so I know I need to be hitting my calories hit my protein hit my gym sessions hit my runs that is kind of like the big focus for the moment aside from that I'm obviously training for my half marathon I think I'm gonna do like another mini update in terms of like exactly what I'm doing training wise and exactly what I'm doing run wise and exactly what I'm eating next week because I'm just conscious that this vlog is gonna have a lot of updates and I don't want to bore you guys to death so I think next week I'll do like a more in-depth one food wise and fitness wise but that is just kind of like the general gist I feel so motivated and I really haven't had any motivation or like drive to work on myself for the longest amount of time and that's how I know I haven't been myself over the past few months because I love fitness I love my health I love my running and I just haven't wanted to do any of it so it feels really nice to like have that back like I feel like I've got like a really big like part of me back and a big part of me is being driven and wanting to work really hard and I feel like that's like come back so yeah I'm just excited I'm gonna obviously be like taking guys along with me so yeah that is basically the big update for you guys i am now gonna chill for about 20 minutes drink my coffee then i'm gonna get cracking on some food content because i have a really tasty recipe that i want to make for instagram today and i'll show you guys when it's done because hopefully it's going to come together exactly how i think it will guys this is the lunch that i've just made i've basically destroyed it and eaten half of it but it is so good i'm popping the recipe on instagram today so it'll be up by the time you guys watch this but this is so tasty and it was so easy to make good morning guys i am wearing the cutest like gym set from gym shop today i literally had it turn up in the post last week and i'm obsessed i'll link it in the description box but i am up ready and ready to go i'm not gonna lie i say that like i haven't literally had like such a sad girl morning like i don't know what's happening like the tears just 
just won't stop today and I'm laughing but like I just I can't stop crying but I'm gonna hold it together because I'm actually going to the gym to train with someone so I can't just go to the gym and cry and also I've never met her before so that would be really really fucking weird you guys are 100% gonna know so I'm sure you guys know Sid I think her is like Sid Grows she has just moved here so we're gonna go for a gym session we've never met before and I'm really excited because she just like seems like such a breath of fresh air and I feel like I really need that today <laughs> really need some good vibes so we're gonna head to the gym and train together this morning we're gonna do a back and buy session which I'm really excited about because I really want to smash my back now I'm kind of like trying to put on a bit of muscle like I really started to see like a bit of definition like my upper body and my back this year and I really want to push that and like really build some good like back muscles because I just think like when you see a girl with a sexy back it's just chef's kiss the tears are definitely gonna have to stop i am laughing through it which kind of shows like growth like i feel like this time three weeks ago i would not have been able to laugh about the fact that i was crying i would have just been sat on the floor in a little ball crying so we're definitely working through some things here whether i'm working through it in a good way right now i'm not really sure i'm also rambling on so i'm probably gonna have to just see you guys at the gym guys we've got professional professional setup over here we've got mics <laughs> i'm mic'd up i'm ready to go and i've never ever done a mic'd up workout or anything for am i allowed to can i swear on your channel <laughs> oh yeah okay i feel like i'm being like interviewed for like the news this will be my first yeah, ever like mic up here <laughs> sorry ignore me we've literally got like 100 cameras going on right now yeah you know what at least this gym's big enough yeah like, it is. i don't feel so bad because no. it's like huge and it's not busy so i feel like there's not that many people staring at us but yeah we're gonna crack into i think we're gonna do some content for your channel yeah and then for me we're just gonna do the video montage workout you know the usual oh yeah <laughs> I literally drove back from the gym as speedy as possible. I had two like back-to-back -back meetings at first one I was late for, but first of all, it's backtrack gym session. That was such a nice gym session. Like Sid is literally exactly who you see on social media, just like the nicest, like sweetest girl. And it's just so nice to like do things like that. And also like, this is why I'm so grateful that like I have social media. I have met so many amazing people that like our paths never would have crossed otherwise. So I just like feel really fortunate in those moments to be like able to meet people like that and kind of like form like connections with different people that like I wouldn't otherwise meet. But yeah, it was a really good workout. Literally ran back we had a meeting for strong girl society for something exciting in the work we've got that done i'm just feeling like i'm feeling excited about the future and that's something that i'm sure a lot of people will experience like post breakup like a lot of the sadness comes from like mourning this future that you thought you were gonna have like in a second that future is gone and like it's done and all of the plans that you made all of the things that you were looking forward to doing together like they're no longer happening so you almost have this like doom and gloom feeling about the future but like if i can give you another piece of advice it's 
make plans, get excited about things, have things to look forward to because you just need to start creating this new exciting future and you need to have that excitement for the future again because you're gonna go and you're gonna do amazing things without that person. It just doesn't seem like that in the moment. Just start to make plans with your friends, start to focus on yourself, start to focus on your work, plan some big goals for yourself and just like work towards those. That's just another little nugget of wisdom from me, I guess. I am now gonna go make myself some lunch and you know what? I'm just gonna have another quiet chilled afternoon of editing. Again, I'm probably gonna start the video off here because I don't really think it's that interesting just watching me do very mundane things, but I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. And if you want the recipe for the steak fajita bowl, check out my Instagram, because it'll be up. Good morning, guys. I actually ended up going to a friend's for dinner last night. I completely forgot to say that I was doing that. So I hung out with two of the girls, which was nice. We went for like a bit of a walk in the evening, which definitely needed, because I felt a bit trapped in my head last night. And then I had a little tiny teeny baby meltdown last night oh god this ice roller has literally saved my life but it's fine i kind of knew it from like the morning like i just felt like there was like a cry like brewing in me and i've not had like a big cry in a few days so i just think i just got to bed and i was like oh it's it's happening it's happening whether i like it or not but sometimes those are just really needed and i definitely feel like i've almost like released a lot so i feel like a bit better this morning and it's sunny in manchester for the first time in i would probably say like two weeks like it actually today feels like summer we have a big day today we have a day that has been pondered in my mind for weeks. I'm actually having some hair extensions put back in my hair today. I took them out a few months ago, I'm sure you guys remember, and I wanted to basically start this like curly hair slash like hair health journey. I'm not gonna lie, I just really haven't been enjoying the process. And I've literally thought about this for weeks because I never want it to seem like I'm like, oh, I don't like curly hair because I just felt so unconfident with my hair curly. And even then when I would blow dry it straight and wear it straight, it's just so sure and it just really hasn't been making me feel like my best self and I said this on TikTok but I'm aware that putting hair extensions in is me putting a plaster on a problem for the moment like there's a lot of other things going on and I think I'm just trying to look for something to maybe make me feel a little bit more confident on the outside because I'm just really not and I know that I'm self-aware enough that I know that but also I just think like if this is gonna make me feel better for a moment, like why would I not just go ahead, have my hair done nicely. I think I'm just gonna try my utmost best to carry on my hair health journey, reduce my heat on it and try and grow it because I know that if it's long and curly, I know that I will prefer it. So basically to get some weight on it. So it's a, sort of like a little curly ball because that's what it is at the moment. So I'm kind of thinking that in a year's time, we're just gonna reassess. It sounds really silly, but I just got to a point where I was like, the only reason that I'm not doing this is because of other people. And you should never, ever, ever do anything for anybody else. Like life is so sure. You need to do what you feel happy with and what you feel comfortable with. And I wasn't doing that. I feel like I was really trying to like force something for other people. And that's just, it's not me and life is too short. Yeah, that is basically the be on end all. And that's kind of today's plan, but I am really excited about it. I feel like hopefully this will just give me a little bit of a kick, even if it is like short-term satisfaction. <laughs> Still excited about it. Okay, I'm ready for my run now. Oh, guys, I just dropped my hand on the floor. I uh, am wearing an all, I don't know, to fit today. I'll pop a picture in here, it's so nice. Basically, I'm filming uh, a little video for I don't know today because I am hosting an event with I don't know in two weeks time in Manchester. Like I'm hosting an event with I don't know -la. Like I freaking love I don't know This is the first ever in-person community event they've ever done. Like they've never hosted anything like this before. So the fact that like they're entrusting me to like host it is just just like absolutely crazy so we're doing a 5k with the community i think by the time this comes out unfortunately the tickets probably will be sold out because they go on sale friday at 12 and it's quite a limited event because it is a run and i'm just so excited i just love things like this i love anything that kind of brings together any form of like community yeah, alone like a running community and an ad nola community and my community so yeah very excited today's run is 800 meter repeat so essentially i'm going to be running out for a kilometer i'm going to head towards a park then i need to do five between five and seven it says I'm feeling a bit like a five today, but I'm gonna try and push seven. Seven rounds of 800 meters at a effort level of eight with 90 seconds complete rest afterwards. So basically interval training. The reason we have this in the plan is because like this type of training is so beneficial for speed. As much as I do just wanna go out and like just do a run right now, I know that these types of runs are really gonna help me in the long run. So yeah, let's go and tick off these 800 meter repeats. For some reason, I decided to go on a different running route. <laughs> and didn't pre-plan it and now I'm fucking lost. Literally just like running around. He's like, I 
car yards. Not feeling like I'm in the safest area right now, to be honest. I'm just gonna keep going and hopefully it'll just come out onto a nice park. Oh my God, I just did my first. <laughs> 0.8 at an effort level of 8. I'm really sorry if it's windy. Oh my god. I've got five in me today, guys. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, <laughs> I have been severely humbled. Basically, I think what I'm doing is I'm going way too quickly. Fuck. Still not so long to go. Okay, that one was so much better. So much better. I didn't go off at like full throttle. I was still doing like a 455 pace, which I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fucking speedy for me. Uh, we reached the end of those. I know I stitched, which is great. Love that for me. The best part about interval training is the slow jog home is always so nice. Like, I'm just gonna put some nice, I feel good tunes on. Kind of like dancing in the moonlight style vibes and just jog myself back to my breakfast. God, I'm glad that is done. That needed to finish as soon as it started. I'm gonna keep saying it. Those are the runs that we need to do. These are the runs that make us better runners. They make us quicker runners. They're just, that just was, that was a lot. That was hard. I'm gonna sort myself out. I need to wash and dry my hair because when I go today, James is literally just popping in the hair extension. So I need to get that sorted. Have some food. I feel like I'm very depleted of energy right now. Right, I've just arrived at the salon. It's go time, basically. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy with it. Oh my goodness, I have so much hair. It, oh my God, honestly, what a dream. We did like a different mix of colors this time and I actually feel like it looks way more natural. Like it's less white blonde and I just feel like that just looked very like false on me. So we've got some like darker tones in there. It's a little bit shorter as well than it was before because I did 24 inches at the beginning of the year and that was just way too long. I literally love it. But right now we have to head off to Pilates because apparently I'm a Pilates girl now. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're having a bad day, go and listen to Waffle House by the Jones Brothers. I don't know what they put in that song, but anytime I feel down at the moment, I just put it on and I just sing along to it and it's just like instant endorphins. I literally love it. Anyway, good morning, guys. It's now Friday morning. I'm actually logging on to sign off because I didn't actually end up showing any of Pilates. I got a bit like embarrassed when I got there. Obviously, I've never been to that Pilates studio before. I didn't want to like whip out my vlogging camera, but I'll insert a picture of the studio. It was beautiful. Also, I would formally like to apologize to the Pilates community for claiming I'm a Pilates princess. You have to earn that title. You can't just take that title. Pilates was humbling. Like my abs never get trained. They were literally shaking. My legs were shaking. I now have to go to a PT session and I'm way achier than I thought I was gonna be. My poor body by Sunday is gonna be absolutely in bits. But it was really, really good. I'm definitely gonna go back. I feel like, especially for like core training, like having a strong core is really good for running as well. And I just find it hard to incorporate core exercises. So we'll definitely be heading back to Pilates. I feel like I could be a converted Pilates princess in training. So yeah, I just wanna sign off and say thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.